Which one is you ain't know your boy Little T Ah uh, back and full effect you already know how um right check it out check it out check it out now we got uh we got the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Babies bro wild card playoffs and the reason you know I'm a little upset bro cause I'm a Ravens fan and I already know what, what the outcome was bro I didn't see the whole game I seen I seen the last of it that's all I'm gonna say I seen the last of it I'm, and I'm very 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 upset as a Ravens fan because if we had Lam if we would have had Lamar, bro, I don't give a fuck. If we would have had Lamar, we would have won this game. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say man. Even J.K. Thomas said that shit, bro. Everybody knows if we would have had Lamar, we would have won this game, bro. But nah, we ain't trying to pay this nigga his money, bro. Hey, pay this nigga his money, man. Damn. Look to return back to the Super Bowl, taking on the Baltimore Ravens in your 2000. We gonna pay everybody else. We gonna pay Wilcon Smith, Marlon Humphrey, but our main nigga, our main nigga is Lamar, bro. Like, and here comes Like, go. Come on, bro. Our main person is Lamar, bro. MVP candidate, fourth in the NFL in passing yards since last season. Also throwing a perfect 69. I'm gonna talk about it after this too. I'm about this Lamar shit too, bro. Cause I'm gonna go hot about this. The most accurate quarterback in the NFL since last year as well. But that hasn't come without adversity as he's the most sacked quarterback in the NFL over the course of the past two years. But since week eight, they've been able to turn it around with a new offensive line unit. Opening drive for Cincinnati at their my own 36-yard line. Play it, so my dumb ass too. towards his right, dumps it off to Joe Mixon. The sloppy Joe's able to pick up six. Very next play, Burrow picking up where he left off last year. 19 sacks in the postseason. Oh, they hit. Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe! Three minutes into the game, he's already on his back. Third and six, he'd showcase why they call him Joe Cool. Looking over Ooh. the middle, got Tyler Boyd inside Baltimore that territory. Come on, Joe! Burrow hands it off to Joe Mixon, carries it right up the gut there inside the 35. Setting up last year's playoff hero, Evan No Fearson, through the upright, and it's good. Since he in front, 3 0. You could have seen this video early and ad free. Make sure to join on patreon.com slash chisel the and you won't have to worry about ads. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description. Act the other way. Here comes Baltimore's offense taking the field without their leader. Lamar Action Jackson sidelined mm, with a knee mm, injury had his Ravens offense 12. And the game had no fucking knee injury. He had a money injury. A money contract injury. And I don't blame him either, bro. I don't blame the mom. Matter of fact, I said I'm gonna talk about that and I'm talking about that shit now, bro. Bro, why haven't we paid Lamar, bro? Why haven't we paid Lamar? Like I totally understand why he ain't playing the fucking playoffs and the rest of them games, bro. I wouldn't leave him, my niggas. Like, we, we not paying him because we don't think he, he gonna be, uh, or his injuries gonna catch up to him or some shit like that. We said, like, we think he gonna get injured in the future. Bro, if we let the nigga walk now, we gotta start over, bro. So you might as well go with the rest. If he get hurt, fuck it. Then go with Huntley, you feel me? But don't start with Huntley now, like. Come on, bro. We want to start over either way, so you might as well pay my man, bro. He is our team, bro. To average more than 13 points per game in the last five, becoming the Lamar first is our team, team bro. ever to enter the playoffs, averaging under 17 points per game through their final six games, and now it's on well, Johnny Tyler Hunley to make his first postseason start and lead the Ravens to an upset. Following drive for Baltimore, Hunley already on the move, looking towards his right. He's got his man for. A first down, they're at midfield. Two plays throw. later, he showcases generosity. He's got Beautiful a man, ass throw. never mind. But he plays for the other throw. team. Pass intercepted by Cincinnati. I'd love to say he never saw the defender, but Mans was staring in that direction since he took the snap. What was he looking at? Since he takes over in favorable field position, third and eight for Joe Burrow going down the field, got his man inside the 35. Very next play after Jamar Chase moves the chains. Come on, Joe! Come on, Joe! Burrow taken down for the second time today. Third and long, Baltimore trying to force a field goal, but when Marcus Peters is in coverage, you can guarantee a completion. Chase moves the chains again. Yeah, we gotta Very let Peters go, bro. I'm sorry. Joe's connect we gotta let Peters go, bro. To Joe Mixon. He's not going anywhere, but for whatever reason, Marcus Peters trying Peters to. He is not the same, bro. He decent, but nah, we can let him go. We don't need him, bro. An automatic first down and 15 yards. 
What was the purpose of doing this? This man trying to dig into Joe Mixon's belly button. For what reason? I said it before, I'll say it again. Because of this man's extracurricular activities, I would not be surprised if this is Marcus Peters' final season in the NFL. 32 career interceptions, magnificent. Three postseason interceptions, magnificent. Seven defensive touchdowns and 42 total takeaways. But this man is a complete ass. Since he had first and goal, but a holding yeah, penalty well, we backed him up Peters to the 20 yard world, line. Does not matter. They're back inside the 10. About that last penalty. Well, I didn't like the last penalty. And so, what will you tell your guys defensively? Uh, we'll be fine. Our guys will be fine. It's going to be a hard fought game out here. We're, we're going to play a good game. And well, Tyler, now with that interception, you said we might see Anthony Brown. What will that take? We'll just see how the game goes, okay? Thanks. Thanks, John. One quick look at what John Hall John Harbaugh really mad as shit. Vince, <laughs> don't start with that bullshit. Really, so he mad as shit. Yeah. He handled right it right, though. $2,500 on Underdog Fantasy within five weeks. I'd love to see you win, too. What are you waiting for? Click the link in my description and download the Underdog Fantasy app right now. And to make matters even better, users will receive a deposit match up to $100. If you use my code, if you put $100 in, they'll give you $100. You put $50, they'll give you $50. You put $20, they'll give you $20. 20, you put 10, they'll give you 10. If you get 10, like give deal, me 20, you can get 20. <laughs> Bengals yeah. in the period colored zone, second and goal, first play of the second quarter. Joe Burrow over the he middle, and there. you can always bank on Jamar Chase. Finds his way into the end zone to give the Bengals a two possession lead. But in a shocking turn of events, McPherson Damn. would miss the he extra point. All the way. lead remains 9 0. No, oh, I missed. Ensuing drive for Baltimore. Hundley looking towards Yo. his left. He's got his man. First down, Ravens. Now He's at throws, bro. Off to J.K. Dobbins. Couple blockers out in front. Picks up the Good first shit, J.K. Down I like J.K. Although they're in Justin Tucker field goal range. It's fourth and one. You know Baltimore's gonna go that for it. That was a badass. We should have cut it outside, man. And keep the drive alive. Two plays later. The Ravens Even though you got a good shit, but damn. Hundley looking you had the outside wide open. He's got Mark Andrews. Takes it inside to the his 12 His throws are not pinpoint, bro. Desperate for a touchdown because you wouldn't go for it on fourth and one if you're not trying to score a touchdown. Hundley cannot escape the Ravens pass rush and he's going to be taken down for a loss of Huntley one. Hundley passes, they not the field. getting our wide receivers though. The receivers are going to go get it, bro. At the very beginning of the play, resulting in an automatic Dang, first down and the Ravens hands. are inside the five. Two attempts at the end zone would fail. It appears to be destiny that the Ravens going to settle for a field goal but not on J.K. Dobbins' got that. watch. He this reaches JK. along the end zone and he's able to he get it for the score. Or the Ravens cut the deficit down to two. Polk gratuitous execution. Maximum effort. Under five minutes left to go in the first half. Joe Burrow looking up in the middle. Steps up in the pocket. He's got T. Higgins at the 45. Two plays later. Watch out for that banana. <laughs> Watch out for that banana. Come on, Joe. And how apropos is that? That on that very sack, Joe Burrow would equal the late great Len Dawson for the second most sacks for a quarterback through their first five postseason games. Third and 16 for Burrow, looking like he just got to dump it off. Oh, the pass rushes on his ass. Hayden Hurst got the directions to the first down, but he would not make it to the destination because he was chewing butter. Fingers fumbles on the play, recovered by the Ravens. Hamilton takes it away. Textbook tackle for the rookie Good and Hamilton. the fumble recovery. I like Hamilton welcome too, to bro. The NFL. Well, I should say welcome to the postseason. Man played an entire season. He's already been welcomed to the NFL. Hot, hot. Oh, oh, my God. God. Snap flies out of Hunley's hands, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, but somehow throw it. able to make a play. Finds his man for a first down, and Baltimore takes it inside shit, the 15. Bro. That set up a Justin Tucker 22-yard chip shot field goal through the uprights, and it's good. Baltimore has their very first lead of this game. We haven't seen a single punter, and this game is as even as it gets. You need a shout-out? Book me on Cameo.com slash Chisels Adonis and get a shout-out, birthday wishes, draft order for your fantasy football team. It don't matter. Book me. What are you waiting? Into the second half we go. Go, 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 Twenty. Very next play, Burrow looking over the middle. Got Hayden Hurst goes into the end zone. Scored on us. He used to be a Raider. They regain the lead on a 19-yard. And that's that.
Yay! Man Shins was touching the ground before he made it across oh, yeah, the line. So on the very next play, Joe Still would keep it, it himself, go into the end zone to give the Cincinnati Bengals the lead. A... It's almost a guarantee. Every time you go for oh. that QB sneak right on the one yard line, you're almost never going to fail. No way you fumble the football there. But since he's only leading by five, so they take out their Uno cards and give the Ravens two for their mistakes as Burrow finds Higgins in the end zone and it's a seven point lead. Baltimore had scored ten unanswered, but now momentum swinging back in Cincy's favor. He's Damn, Damn. this shit, JK. Oh, tackling out there. Picks up a huge first down for the Ravens. Two plays later, Hundley dumps Gandhi. the football off to Gus over me. the chisel of Donis in high school. He takes it inside Bengals territory. Another two plays. Hundley can't just run. He can throw. He finds the mark. There we go. Robinson wide open. Goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. They even up the score at 17 apiece. And how fitting he left Eli. Eli Apple Apple just shitty. That's all it is, bro. And of course he got burnt. Yeah, but Eli Apple just shitty. Momentum right back in the Ravens' lap. Third and two. Burrows pass sales. Ooh, that would have been a beautiful catch. Hold on to the football. We into the fourth quarter and the Ravens looking to take the lead. Third and one. Hunley still showing off. His I see that catch. That catch Andrews was amazing, bro. With a sensational bro. catch over Jesse Bates, whispering in his ears. Oh, oh my nuggets, suck my dick. First down Ravens in Cincy territory. Very next play. Oh, yeah, Hundley's gonna keep it himself. Nothing but green and See, Lamar would have scored on this play, bro. Stiff on him. Bates pushed him out of bounds at the two yard line. Lamar would have scored on the play. I don't know if nobody said. Fake. Ricard is wide open, but Hundley throws a bad ball. That would have been a walk in touchdown. A walk -in. All he's got to do is put that ball two inches in this, higher right, and slightly right outside. And that's a touchdown for Baltimore. Two plays later. <laughs> But up fingers, Hundley puts it on the ground right into the hands of Hubbard and the fat. I don't know how bad that hurt, bro. Y'all don't know how bad this play hurt, bro. Man is racing down the field. Mark Andrews shot out of a rocket in pursuit, but he falls down. The fat man goes 98 yards into the end zone for the score, and Cincinnati takes the lead. Hundley thinks he scores. John Harbaugh is beside himself. Where is she at? As Hubbard would record the longest formal return touchdown in postseason history. Here's what I don't understand. Why would you try to go over top when you're a complete yard away? He was nowhere near the end zone. And it's no as if he way. never anticipated somebody would stay up top in case he decided to jump. Picard's entire responsibility on this play you was to push him the end Gus zone. Edwards, but Hundley bro. decided he wanted to go airborne. And then on the return, look at Gus Edwards. Mans runs a 4 5 2 40, and he he jogging with the game on the line in the playoffs. Mark Andrews trying to do his best Ben Watson impersonation and chase down Hubbard, only to get blocked in the back, and the referees ain't even calling. Some may argue the block came from the side from Bailey, but the mere fact that the glove made contact with Andrews' back should have drew the penalty. And take a look at the screen. The head official has a bird-eye view of the block. There's no reason the return shouldn't have been called back. You want to become an official member? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about the block in the back, bro. It's the point that he tried to reach for that bitch. Get it before it's gone. Grab a hat. Let the people know your affiliation. Now trailing by a score once again. Baltimore looking to respond. Why, Johnny Tyler. Fuck out of here. Hundley sacked two plays later. Third and nine. Yeah! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. The pressure forces an incompletion. Ensuing drive. We got it for you, Joe. Nobody Get him. Blocking. Nobody's blocking. Ravens get the See, I chucked it off after that. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't seen none of this. I chucked the game off after this. this side. Hundley's got a wide open Mark Andrews. He takes it to the 48. And we could have scored again. Let me see. Where do you think you're going? Go. Go. Get rid of me. Sacks derail the last two drives for both teams. Third and ten for Burrow. Get him. Why are you running? Why are you running? Thank you, Shane. Since he's forced to put oh. favorable field position for the Ravens, taking over at midfield, they're already inside Bengal territory with 310 left to play. And if there was ever a time for Mark Andrews to have his best postseason game, it's now. Three plays later, third and two. Hundley takes the snap, looking towards his right. Hill can't keep his footing. He'd be stopped short of the first down. But the game is on the line. There's a little over two minutes left to play. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on all social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.
Facebook at Chiseled Adonis. Make sure you get your fix of all. I make like I don't know what the result is, bro. But still, it's like I want to know what happened, bro. Okay, get shit on. Chains to keep the game alive for Baltimore. But in a shocking turn of events, despite having two timeouts and being nowhere near the end zone, Baltimore's taking their sweet time and not hustling to the line to get a playoff. They wasted 40 precious seconds and they at the 28 yard line. Dobbins would spin his way for a Ravens first down, but now they're approaching a minute left to play. No Surely huddle. they'll use a timeout. Speed it up, Me speed it up. Not, they continue to let the clock run. They doing substitution and huddling up as if a score is guaranteed. We're now under 40 seconds left to play, and on the very next play, Hundley would fail to find a completion. It's actually nearly intercepted no by the Bengals, and there's 29 seconds on the clock. They started this drive behind the two-minute warning, picked up the first down on fourth and inches right at the two-minute warning, and they decide to keep the two timeouts in their pocket. What the hell is John Harbaugh doing? If you don't keep the two the timeouts, you know how to go. Questionable coaching decisions going forward on fourth downs rather than kicking field goals, but in this particular situation, clock management is all on the head coach, and this nincompoop refuses to call timeouts, and now he's got a second and long with 29 seconds left to play with the season on the line. Very next play, second and long, hand you off to Hill because they're trying to catch the Bengals slipping. Mains runs for a pick up a that five was smart, Hill. and gets out of bounds, yes, but there's laundry on the <clears> field because there's out a hold about. on the Ravens. So now consider the situation where you burned a minute and 20 seconds just huddling up and doing stupid substitutions when you could have utilized a timeout and you're in a situation where it's third and long from the 27 yard line. Very next play, third and 20. For whatever reason, the Ravens aren't even trying to utilize a situation where they could call timeout after picking up a chunk of yards. Hundley keeps trying to fire it down the field or force it into coverage. Might I add, he's only looking Mark Andrews' way. And what do you know? It took eight seconds left on the clock on what will probably be the final play of the game. Baltimore would finally use a timeout. But much to their chagrin, there isn't enough time to fire it for a first down and hope to call timeout to take another play. You can only try an attempt towards the end zone. So here we go, fourth and 20. Hunter nearly stumbling. slips, launches it towards the end zone for passes. Incomplete. Incomplete. And for the second year in a row, Cincinnati holds on in the wild card round and they're on to the divisional. On the deflection, Prochet was right there, but he was one step too late. Shades of Gronk in Super Bowl 52. Mans tried to get in position, but had no clue where the football would land. Oh, he almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. God damn it! John Harbaugh's terrible clock, man. man. <clears throat> for real, for real, bro. For real, for real, bro. The whole thing was the Ravens organization, bro. I don't, the team, the team, like Mark Andrews and, and Huntley and JK, y'all did y'all shit, bro. Y'all did y'all shit, bro. This was all on the Ravens organization. One, one, the main reason, because y'all ain't take them all. Two, two, bro, why are you not doing no huddles? If you ain't gonna do no huddles, call a time, but why are you taking your time? This nigga, he, mm, this man is not Lamar, bro. You cannot be taking your time. If it's Lamar, okay, I kind of understand, but still need to hurry up. But he does not have the clutch in this game like Lamar, bro. Oh, my God, bro. That's what hurts so much, bro. I know if we would have had Lamar, we would have won, bro. There's so many plays where I'm like, okay, if that was Lamar, bro, we would have, he would have scored, or he would have got the first down, or, oh, man, it's tough being a Ravens fan, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, you need to sign, sign, sign my man Lamar, bro. Get my man his money, bro. Please, man. Please get my man his money, bro. Like, come on, what is y'all doing right now, bro? We need that boy on our team. Like, y'all don't, y'all don't see this, bro. Everybody sees it except for the Ravens organization, bro. I don't give a fuck how much we gotta give him. Three, four, five, six, six hundred. Give this man his money, bro. If we won't, why we gonna build around a man and then when he want his money, we not gonna give him his money. What's the point of building around him if we ain't gonna give him his money? Like, what? What's the point of building around somebody if we wasn't gonna have him long term? Like, now if we don't give him his money, now we gotta start all over. Like, think this ain't gonna play for free, bro? No. Like, come on, man. It, it's loyalty, but you gotta look at your money come first, bro. And I understand what Lamar doing right now, bro. I totally understand. I do the same thing. Like, yeah, I love the Ravens, but I need my paper, bro. Like, <laughs> come on, man. But. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me just watch it down in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.